Yeah, really good to meet you. Good um, to meet you too. Excellent YouTube videos. Thank you. Uh, love you watching the series. Bass guitar at the minute. Yes. What, yeah. We'll be on episode four. Episode four. Uh, at the moment, so, so I think I've just radius, fret? just radius yeah. the fretboard on that, which was the most terrifying thing. Like, just I've never done it before. Well, I kind of have, but not properly. Yes, because this isn't your first. No, I did one thing. in my second year of woodworking. Yeah. Um, but I didn't really know what I was looking for at that point. I didn't really know what could go wrong with it. So I kind of just did things, and then hoped for the best at the end of it. Now I've kind of, after all this training. I've gone back to it. I'm overthinking so many bits of it. Yeah, and it's yeah. slowing me down. But yeah, we got it done. We got yeah. it done. So uh, have you finished the build, or are you, or are you still in process? No, still halfway it's through. Still, so still halfway got... through. So you've not filmed it, and this is back up, and you just no, no, it's still so halfway you've no through. No idea what the end product's going to look like. No yet. idea. No. Oh, let's break to release that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just some sort of rough render I've got on SketchUp yeah. at the moment. So right. uh, yeah. Excellent. Um, let's go back to where you started, where, where you came from. Uh, you're from Oxfordshire? Uh, well, so I'm actually from Basingstoke originally. Um, so in my GCSEs, we studied resistant materials. Yeah. Um, and we had a bespoke box maker come in just to help out. And none of us knew what he did to start with. He was just this mysterious guy walking around. He was hench as well, huge. And um, one day he just bought in this bespoke box and made of Macassar ebony, all in Art Deco style. It was worth about six thousand pounds, I think, just this jewelry box. Yeah. And from that moment, I've always been crafty, but I didn't realise that woodworking could go to that level of precision and that level of finesse. So as soon as I saw that, I was hooked instantly. Found a furniture school in Oxford and did that. Yeah. So three, well, two years uh, A-level equivalent, then three years degree there. So you spent, five, so you spent five, five years training to, to yep. on the book, so yep. it kind of comes across that you know your, you know your stuff. <laughs> it was it's, good there, yeah. it was really good. It's, the nice thing about a school environment is it allows you to experiment with a lot of things. Like yep. you didn't have the stress of having to sell or find clients, you could just go there, find your own style and do what you wanted. I don't think I've found my own style yet, but it's just given me a chance to just mess around really yeah. and just have well, a play. Some of your, some of your, your work, the, some of your projects that I've seen you do, the, the Kre Krekov? Is that? Krenov. Krenov. Krenov cabinet, I yeah. mean, that, that cabinet's unbelievable. The couple yeah, yeah. of detail and you've done all that, so you're incorporating different yeah. things. Yeah, oh, that, that was the first one I did. So that yeah. was um, Cognition, which was, yeah, that was the most terrifying project yeah, I've ever seen in my in. life. So, um, yeah, that was, yeah, very difficult. And yeah. then the Krenov cabinet was the one on legs. Right, yes. Um, and then, yeah, obviously the workbench after yeah. that as well. Um, so what, what, you must have a couple of big projects, a couple of ideal projects in your head for the future, maybe Coming not up. You know, um, no, Maybe I, not for the tube, I mean, you must have, do you know what, I really want to build something. Have you got anything like that? Not you know? as such a project. What? Because my current situation is I only have this workshop until August and I'm meant to be somehow sorting out a workshop from September onwards. If I get a house at that point, I would like to do an entire, not an entire house renovation sort of thing, but fit, do like a big ongoing project where I'm making furniture for all the rooms, um, kitting out the workshop and just do more shop projects because yeah. I've never, this workshop that I've got at the moment is sponsored to me by Rikerwood. So although it's mine, it's not mine. So I, yeah, if I get a proper workshop, that's gonna be my sole purpose from there, making it functional, making it more me and, um, yeah, then have a look and see where it goes from there. Where do you, um, also, where do you think your balance is going to be? Because at the moment you're just doing a lot of YouTubing, a lot of builds, and people have got the pokey pokey in the, okay. poke in the ash. Oh, the poke in they the are ash, an absolute Which look like an ass. absolute nightmare. I can't yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah they you, are. You're still persevering. Can't find that again. I, I, those have stopped for the time being. They're on yeah. hold. So yeah, and so, so you're mainly YouTuber. Have you got any project? Have you got? I know you work at Axminster a couple yep. of days a week as well. Yep. Uh, you teach. Um, mm -hmm. How do you see yourself develop? Do you see yourself kind of a bit like you know Paul Sellers doing the, the teaching, having the school yep. thing going on, and then having a YouTube alongside, or you did, or are you going to go more kind of actually want to make stuff to build and sell and commission pieces as well, yeah. or, or you just undecided and just yeah? See where I it mean, takes? I've always been very run and gun with it, so yeah. I just go like I started this as a hobby. I've always filmed things throughout my life, so it's. This is still kind of a hobby of mine. Although I am making money from YouTube and other little bits, it's still just a hobby. Yeah. So. Well, the, the money you make off YouTube is not huge for the hours you put in. If you work out no, an hourly rate, no. it's ridiculous. Oh no, not yeah. at all. Not at all. But it's, um, yeah, because it's enjoyable. 
I don't see it as working. So yeah. I'm getting paid to do my hobby. Um, so as a result, this is the problem that I'm trying to sort out in the next year. I'm unorganized. I don't put as much effort into promotion, marketing, or it's not a business, it's just a hobby. Yeah. And it's just me documenting that hobby. And yeah, that's what I have to sort out. If I want to make this a full-time thing, then we've got to get a bit more organized. So recently you had your girlfriend Rosie yes. in one of your videos. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. It was very yeah. different. I've noticed your style, you'll do a set build with set pieces of video, a certain way you'll edit, film and yeah. stuff. And then your next one, you'll just, oh, I'm going to experiment. I'm just going to play around with this and do yeah. something completely different. Yeah. So is that what that was? Just kind of... Yeah, well, she has always wanted to... Where am I going to go with this? We've always spoken about her being in a video yeah. somehow, and over this summer we're looking at doing some projects together. But so she, does she woodwork as well? Does she she do doesn't. Things? No, she no. does. She's a very hands-on yeah. um, kind of girl. She does a lot of embroidery and just little crafty bits, yeah. um, which is great. And I actually had one of her embroideries behind me in my old workshop. Yeah. Had this like little thing that was in the background. No one could really see what it was, but yeah, she does those little things like that, and it's great. On the camera, you come across as like you know all energy and everything, but when the camera's off, it's like ah okay. At the end of the day, just one man in one yeah, room. Yeah, you know, it's, thing, yeah. it's really nice to actually it's have someone else. It's not a very else. social job, is no, it, YouTube? No, it's not. No, and which is great about all these associations that are popping up because, I mean, well, woodworking, it's quite a solitary activity. But with the men's shed, you've got these maker spaces. Yeah. That's what's really great about them because they have all these like, big communities that people yeah. can take something that was originally a solitary activity in a lot of cases, but actually make it a community thing. Yeah. So that was what was really nice about having Rosie there is that I just had someone to bounce off and um, just have fun with, like mess around and we had a laugh. Yeah, it was really good fun. I need to get her back. Need yeah, her back. No, I, I do. I, I think she, uh, she did very well. And yeah. yeah, it came across as a really good video and different from, from the norm, which I, which I like. To, yeah, you know, I'm actually really like jealous of Evan and Caitlin. You know those two? The yeah. uh, American, uh, they are just absolutely bonkers, but they gel so well together. Yeah. Great to watch on camera. So, you never yeah. know. You never, never know. know. You, you could be having no, no know. subscribers yeah. and uh, that kind of earnings yeah. as well. You could Rosie, if you're watching that. this, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking of uh, working with people, have you discussed working, doing a collaboration video with people or yep, we, doing a special build? Or? So, I've obviously a lot of attention is focused on the guitar at the moment, yep. but there is collaboration works. Um, or collaborations in the works with a few people. Are we talking to people who are to stand not a million miles away? Uh, no, none of or them ben? are here actually. No, 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 oh, okay. no not Ben Crow. No, no. Ben oh, right. no. Um, so we're looking at doing a jewellery box project hopefully, okay. um, and that will be with Jonathan Katz Moses, uh, James Wright, and Will from um, WM Woodwork or something like that. WM. Will Walker is his name, yeah, basically. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be us three. We're going to, um, I'm going to start off with it, and we're going to make all the components, ship them out to one of them. They're going to, yeah, it's basically going to be something. All that right, so you're going to make a bit and then pass yeah. it on. They're going to make. So you exactly. don't know what the end product's going to be like. No, well, uh, no, we do, right. but we're all doing different parts of it. Okay. So um, and then we're going to auction it off and give the money to charity. Hopefully, Mark Spagnolo's woodworking fight, fighting cancer. Uh, finally, just uh, any advice to new starting because you, you've only been around about probably <laughs> properly twelve months, I'd say, yep. on YouTube. Anyone yep. just starting out and kind of trying to kickstart their yep. YouTube stardom, fame, search, career, whatever they're after on there. Any yep. advice for them? It's never too late to start. That never like there's always there's people starting now who are just absolutely look, they'll be killing it in a year's time. Um, just be yourself on camera. I think for the first two years when I did it, um, I was in Rikerwood when I was filming. Yeah. And of course you did all the, all the videos, you, yeah. you, you builds while you were at... Uh, yeah, you, but you, I wasn't you. able to present to the camera, so yeah. it doesn't show your personality, but just being able to have my own workshop and space <laughs> and just show who I am behind the camera. Just be yourself on the camera, that's all it is. People buy into personalities more than they do what you're actually doing. Um, yeah, just get started. If you want to do it, be yourself. Because, like I say, I've always filmed videos yeah. throughout every every hobby I've had. Always done it. As soon as I started woodworking in my first year at Rikerwood, five years ago, I thought I want to film this. Was too scared to do it for four years yeah. until I was in my second to last year and finally did it. I, I'm so, I regret so much not starting at the beginning because I would love to see that progression. Yeah. Um, even looking back. 
I don't know, just being able to look back at my workbench build. Occasionally I'll go back and watch that video just because it's, I don't know, it's just nice having stuff on camera and documented. Yeah. It's like having a diary. Well, you can see where you, you, what you do yeah. different now. And exactly, you, yeah. exactly. So yeah, it's, it's really nice to watch myself and the community as well, the people you meet. I wouldn't be here doing this. Um, I wouldn't know a lot of the people here. People come up to me and tell me like their stories and yeah, I've had a few guys today and it's just, it's so humbling or hum yeah, it's just yeah. really nice. Excellent. Lovely speaking to you, Matt. Lovely speaking to you too. And Thanks so hopefully much. Uh, see you in the near future and uh, fingers crossed. I do hope that so. guitar and it'll look as good as uh, Fingers crossed. As you hope. Yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. Excellent. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very okay. much.